There are so many assassins in the Brotherhood, and I mean, it makes sense. They span literal generations after generations after generations. But what's cool is that each one has their own set of unique advantages and skills that they bring to the group. In an effort to stop the Templars, bet there is one that stands above the rest, one that is the undisputed goat when it comes to killing Templars and overall significance to the Brotherhood itself. And that would be Ezio Auditori. And in this video, we're going to find out what makes Ezio such a great assassin and, and how we can train like him to be just as good ourselves. But remember, actually unaliving people is frowned upon. I do not endorse it. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing Avid is in a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Before we get started, I just want you to tell me what your favorite Assassin's Creed weapon is. Obviously, you could pick one of the many hidden blades or some of the other gadgets that you use throughout the series. Let me know and let me know why you chose what you chose. But let's talk about who exactly is Ezio. Ezio Auditori was first introduced in Assassin's Creed II back in 2009, taking place during the Italian Renaissance. He is the assassin that comes up the most and is seen the most as far as my knowledge, which means we get to not only see his start at 17 years old, but we get to see his entire life through the games and movies. We see him taking the role of mentor to new assassins in the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood game, which is actually my first Assassin's Creed game ever. He discovers Altair's legacy in Revelations. We see his father and his family in Assassin's Creed lineage. And in Assassin's Creed Embers, we see Ezio in his later years throughout retirement. It's said that an old man in a career where young men die is a force to be reckoned with, and this is definitely the case. I mean, we see him accomplish so much as an assassin simply through his lineage and how long he's been in the Brotherhood. He basically single-handedly establishes a network of assassins all throughout Italy, secures and prevents the Templars from getting the Apple of Eden, and carried the torch Altair left him by leading the Brotherhood into a new era. And I mean, the list of reasons he's the GOAT goes on and on. And so obviously in order to do all of these things, his combat has to be on point. I mean, Ezio personally sends tons of Templars and their associates to meet their maker throughout the games, both directly and indirectly filling up the gates of hell. So let's talk about how exactly he's able to pull this off. Obviously he's going to get the normal assassin's training that we talked about in the video with Altair. It was actually spearheaded in a large sense by Altair and kind of designed by Altair, which is why we talk about it so much in that video. Obviously check that out if you haven't yet. But the long and short of it is ninjutsu, parkour, and hima. Ninjutsu is a pretty obvious one here. I mean, the assassins are basically just European ninjas. It's essentially what the entire game series is about. Hima is also pretty obvious once you understand what hima means, and that it stands for Historical European Martial Arts. This means that it's going to get us trained in pretty much every martial arts weapon that we're going to come across in this era and time period. Hence the name historical European martial arts. I mean, it's literally right there. And parkour is at first glance a pretty obvious one too, but we're going to have to take it a step further. Ezio took it to a whole new level when it comes to his parkour and climbing abilities. Now in real life, that's just due to the new generation of games being able to produce and uh, create a much better version of climbing in the game. But lore-wise, it means Ezio was the Michael Jordan of parkour. So to sprinkle into our parkour, we're gonna add a little bit of gymnastics training as well. This will make our flow just a little bit smoother and that gymnastics combined with our other combat skills as well will allow us to not only fight effectively, but move in between uh, and through opponent, opponents correctly and effectively as well. Ugh, man, I cannot talk today. Now to add into that smoothness that I was talking about with specifically weapons, 
we're going to start training some Kali. And yes, it wouldn't have been what he actually trained in that time period and location. However, it really just fits so perfectly well. In the way his body moves in many of his animations and fight scenes and even cinematics, just mirrors it perfectly. And when you combine a little bit of it of his arrogant flair, specifically when he was more on the younger side, you will come out looking like the best assassin to ever do it. Now, is that an easy thing to do? No, being Ezio the GOAT can't be easy, otherwise everyone would do it. But I would love to get the ball rolling and teach you how to use one of his combinations that we see him do literally in the game. Before we get into our combination, I need to let you guys know, I don't actually own the sword that Ezio uses in the, his combination that we're gonna be doing. It's one of his three strikes that he does like as a video game character, right? We all have that strike, 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 and this is one of them. I don't own his sword that he's using, so we're gonna be using this one. And if you also would like to use this sword right here, it is an aluminum uh, tricking sword that I've done, used in many a video. It's literally designed so that you can hit yourself and not die, it's great. Um, it's from Century Martial Arts, they have a bunch of tricking weapons like this, so they have real weapons too, but this one obviously is good for training. If you want one, you can definitely click the link down below, I have it linked down there, it says swords, it has a bunch of them, pick whichever one you want, and you can use my discount code NINJA10 at checkout to get 10% off. Just gonna put that out there because since we are using a blade, it's really important that we stay safe while we do it. But let's get to <clears throat> our Hetio combination. Now, for this combination, uh, we're going to be doing three strikes, like I said, with our right hand holding our weapon and our right leg leading our strike. So I'm going to be attacking this way just to make it easier. Um, I'm going to be attacking with the 45 to give you guys an idea, but I'm going to try and do it from different angles so you can see it. We're going to start with a right downward, uh, not downward, right diagonal strike coming towards the collarbone or the neck coming down. Now in the game, he oftentimes steps in with it as he moves forward, but we're just going to go and, and shuffle forward, coming down with our right strike. Now in the game, again, this bounces off and he goes to the next one. We're just gonna continue like we were actually hitting someone in real life, just to modify the game mechanics to fit real life a little bit better. We're coming down at the 45 degree angle at the neck. Make sure you have your blade alignment correctly, keeping your fingers in line with the blade at all times. So again, wang. We're going to pull back, coming underneath at the inverted 45, almost like you're cutting out the knee or the leg. Um, and if you're really lucky, you can get the inside of their opposite leg to really make them bleed out, which is even better. So we have one at the neck or collarbone area, pull back underneath, underneath X, two, pull back, and as we pull back, we're going to step through with our left leg, step through with our right leg, and slash across, just like so. <clears throat> this across, again, follows our X pattern that we talked about in the previous video and in this one. It's kind of how all the assassins are linked, more or less. But our, our spinning um, like strike, one, two, follows the upward X angle. So again, if you drew this, the next on the screen, it would go from one end to the other and just like that. One more time, starting with it in our right hand, we have top right, pull back. T bottom right, pull back. Step left. Look over their shoulder with the sword in it. Step right, upward strike and we're back fighting the next Templar that came to catch our hands, or at least taste our blade. <laughs> but one more time, a little bit faster. We have one, two, three, and then we're back ready to go for whatever we have next. Now, like I said, he gets a lot of things from Altair. He builds on it significantly, but still gets a lot from it. In fact, they actually do some of the same combinations word for word, beat for beat, bar for bar. And so 
Um, the tutorial that we went over in the previous Assassin's Creed episode can be applied to Ezio as well. So if you're trying to become an assassin, definitely watch all the Assassin's Creed videos that are coming out so that you can really get the best bang for your buck, so to speak. And remember, when we're using blades like we will in many of our Assassin's Creed videos, be safe because no one wants to injure themselves with a sword. That's just not what we want. So just reminding you guys for legal reasons, be safe. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. It's been really fun going back and looking at some of the older Assassin's Creed games that I haven't been able to do. And I am super excited for Assassin's Creed Shadows, that game. You best believe I'm gonna get to it, I promise. Um, but I'm just excited for it. So if you want more videos like this early, definitely consider supporting the channel by becoming a member. You can join these guys by getting your name at the end of the video every single time and getting access to many of my videos early like I was talking about earlier. So if you wanna be awesome and be part of these guys, definitely consider becoming a member and hitting the join button down below. But if not, that's okay. A like is also always appreciated. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but lift off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to